So this week, Shroud of Fable releases, and I wanted to kind of review a couple of the products that are releasing. Unfortunately, I was short allocated the Greninja and Kingdra boxes, so I won't be reviewing those unless I can find them at a local shop sometime this weekend. I really want to open them because I do want to add both beautiful promos to my collection, but I wanted to make sure that my customers could get the boxes in their hands, and that's what I focused on. But I am going to open up one of the other products today, and this is probably your most affordable product when it comes to the Shroud of Fable collection. But before we get into that, I am going to be giving away one of these P.E.K.K.A. Runt promos from the Shroud of Fable 3-Pack Blister. So if you would like to win a copy of this promo, all you got to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel for more great video game and Pokemon TCG content, and let me know down in the comment section below, which promo did you prefer, Greninja? Or Kingdra. So with that being said, we're going to open up one three-pack blister today. This is going to be a short but sweet video. And the reason why we're going to open this up is we want to see if this is worth it. So I believe these are MSRP either $13.99 or $14.99. I'm not entirely sure. I know with, um, with sets like this, it's usually a little bit more expensive. But I'm not sure if these equal up to like your normal three-pack blister or if they're like a special set three-pack blister. But... We're going to go ahead and review, and then we're going to see if we can pull anything interesting from this set. I am hunting almost every regular illustration rare from this set, so any of them that we can pull would be nice. So, let's go ahead and see what we can get out of these, uh, out of this blister. So, first and foremost, you get your promo. This is the same promo we just seen a second ago that I am giving away. It's got, a uh, two, or an attack on an ability. Nothing too great, but if you're building something based on maybe poisoning Pokemon, this might be useful. It is a basic that allows you to put five damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon. You also get a code card for the uh, TCG Live. I will give that to one lucky viewer, so good luck to whoever used it. And then you get three booster packs. It's your typical three pack uh, blister. We're going to get two Okie Dogie and one Pekka Runt. I'll, we will just go ahead and see if we can at least get one amazing pull out of all these uh, packs. So, I know a lot of people have not liked this set. There's been a, a lot of, uh... oh, that's a hollow energy, so we'll keep that in the stack. There's been a lot of uh, negative talk about this set. A lot of people have disliked it. I love it. I am a defender of bad sets. There's a lot of amazing artworks in this set, so I'm always going to be defending it. Like the Shinji Kanda. I know Shinji Kanda, all people care about is Magikarp and Garatina, but do not underappreciate their amazing commons and uncommons like the Slither Wing right here. So we got Varum. New reverse foil pattern, by the way. If you guys have not seen this, look how amazing that is. That is stunning. Love the pattern. Slither Wing. Oh, that's going to be a great reverse. Unfortunately, it doesn't get the pattern because it is an ancient reverse. And then Cresselia, which has got that beautiful artwork. And then we got our new type of energy, which features the uh, symbols here, the Pokeballs. And this is a foil energy. I don't know if every energy in the set will be foil, but that's pretty cool. Really dig that. So, decent first pack. Nothing too great, but a couple of cards that will definitely go into the binder like that Shinji Kanda Slither Wing. As well as that amazing uh, water energy with the nice Pokeballs on it. Yeah, so it doesn't look like all energies will have it. It's only those reverse ones, which is cool. I think that's. It. I think uh, we're getting new energies in the uh, Stella Miracle set. So it's kind of a nice way to end off this generation of energy cards. Janine's Secret Art. This is interesting. You could choose up to, uh, up to two of your dark Pokemon. And for each of those Pokemon, you can search for a basic dark energy and attach it to a Pokemon to shuffle your deck. But you poison your Pokemon if that's the case. I could see this being useful if there's ever a strong Pokemon that requires being poisoned to do something. And we have seen it in the past. Certain Pokemon need to be special affected to get like certain attacks and abilities off. And I could see that being really useful in the future if we ever get a card like that. Here's the other Shinji Kanda card, a nice reverse of that. Iron Moth from Shinji Kanda. 
I actually think this looks so much better than the Slitherwing. Something about this card is just stunning. I love the symmetry that you get with Iron Moth, as well as the uh, asymmetrical like background. Really beautiful card. Looks like we just get a reverse Seedra there. And we got a full art Janine secret art. Just talking about Janine just now. That is a beautiful hit. Look at that really stunning let me go ahead and put a sleeve on it because you know how we say it on the channel if you like it then you should put a sleeve on it look at that beauty right there okay so hey one hit is always good on top of that you got the iron moth and the slither wing from the reverse side so two cards that are going in the artwork binder and one beautiful full art trainer so We'll say that this uh, three pack blister is probably a success. Last code card. It looks like we got another water energy reverse, so that's nice. So let's see if we can get something good. We got this Meowth, which is done by Sui or Sui. Uh, beautiful artwork. Not too familiar with this artist. I know they do a lot of TCG work, and I just kind of skip past them. I know fault on me, but this Meowth, stunning. Zubat, not so much. I'm not a big fan of that artwork. You got an Absol, which is stunning. And I think Absol is one of the uh, illustration contest Pokemon. So we got we got some more Absol works coming in soon. Binding Mochi, another attack based on poison. So it seems like this theme set seems to be based on maybe poisoning Pokemon, or at least Pekaron is, because Janine's Secret Art's based on poison, and Binding Mochi is based on poison. We get Cresselia, so Cresselia Reverse, which is a reverse rare. Pretty stunning card, not too bad. Haxorus, I will take that any day of the week. I'm a big fan of Haxorus. I love the Fracture in this set. There's a great illustration rare of Fracture. Beautiful card. And speaking of my love for Haxorus, we got the Hollow Rare Haxorus. I will take it. Beautiful card, look at that. Bring down the Axe. And then Dragon Pulse. If special energies ever become like super common, like every deck is using them, I could see that being really good because it's an instant KO for a fighting energy. That's actually not bad at all. Um, it all depends on whether or not like a special energy deck becomes top meta. The last time I remember this happening was uh, Zorork GX. Now, there, there's probably been cases since then, but I remember Zorork GX was flashed into almost every deck and DCEs were everywhere. So no matter what matchup you were, odds are you were gonna run into DCEs. So this was a great, this would have been a great card at that time because you just evolve into it, swing with one fighting energy and you're KOing two prizers. So could be a good card. And then another water energy, pretty cool. So we got a few amazing uh, reverse foils, and then we ended up getting one full art trainer, the Janine Secret Art. So it was a pretty fun opening. I actually really enjoyed that little three-pack blister. Now, I will say this. If you're looking for just a small selection of product to open up for Shroud of Fable, I would say that the three-pack blister is probably worth the value because you're getting three packs. You're getting a kind of cool promo card. So... So if you want a few packs and you don't want to open up too much and you want a decent promo, this product's for you. But if you were willing to shell out a little bit more money, I would say the other three collection boxes are just a little bit better just because the promo is more desirable. Sure, you get more packs in there, but if you can find, let's say, the King Gambit box, you get three beautiful promos, including an illustration rare version of King Gambit, as well as four booster packs. And you only have to spend about five more dollars than this product to get that. So I would personally recommend picking up the King Gambit box as a personal preference. But if you were in your Walmart and you just wanted something quick and easy to open and you wanted to enjoy this new set, this is not a bad product. So I definitely say this is a product worth picking up, but there are better options out there if you wanna spend a little bit more money. But I don't think that you're gonna lose the value of your money if you wanted to open up this product in the sense that you will have the fun doing so because as you can see here we pulled an amazing full art trainer and we got an amazing promo as well as some amazing reverses 
And that's the kind of stuff I value as a trainer. Obviously, every trainer is unique to their own and everybody collects a little bit different, a little bit differently. So let me know down in the comment section below. Are you interested in this product? Do you plan to pick up the three pack blister? Do you not like the three pack blister? Let me know if you think the three pack blister is worth it. And as always guys, remember to keep it awesome.